Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new. My name is Melissa. So today we've got this makeup look for you right here. I was honestly already craving. I'm craving already Halloween and fall and everything. So I got inspired by a Beetlejuice. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and let's get onto it. I'm already ready for fall, look. Ghostbusters, baby, Ghostbusters, and of course, my coffee is already in Jack Skellington. So anyways, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so today we are inspired by fall and Halloween. I had to bring him out to get my coffee. It's hot outside, but it is cloudy. It is cloudy, so. It's cloudy outside, but it hot. We're gonna we're gonna forget. We're not gonna we're not gonna think about the heat because we're inside our house, long sleeving it up with our AC blasting and a fan in here as well. So yeah. Okay, so I did this eye off camera, of course, just so I knew what the vibe was. And the vibe was I don't know if you guys can tell, but it was clearly Beetlejuice. So um, a classic movie you know during halloween time so um i couldn't find one palette that basically had all the colors that i needed that was just a note for this look so i did end up using three palettes quickly i'm going to mention them to you um the profusion spectrum palette had the perfect lime green shade that i needed the jacqueline hill volume 2 with morphe had the burgundy tones that I needed, which were basically these two. And then I used the black on the, really close to the lash line. And I actually did go into the Jackie Ina and Anastasia Beverly Hills palette to get this rich brown right here, which is called Credit because the Jaclyn Hill didn't have like a rich brown. I know you can't tell that I used a brown, but it helped with the whole look come together. So if you guys want to see this, let's get started on this eyeball because it's ready, it's prepped. I did the eyebrow. We are going to move on to the eyeshadow. So I did go in with the Jaclyn Hill. I wrapped this color right up at the corner. It's just a nice bone color in the shade is called Certified. So I'm just going to apply that. So going on to the shade called Next, which is right here, I'm going to take that on a fluffy brush and blend it onto my crease. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the shade called Crazy, which is the one right underneath Next. This one right here is just a deeper burgundy shade. And I'm gonna apply that closer to the crease. Okay, so now taking the shade Credit from the Jackie Ina and Beverly Hills palette, I'm gonna take a flat brush and pack that onto the lid and blend it into the crease. So going back to that Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to take the dark, it's a black shade, has a little bit of shimmer, um, it's called Temptress, and I'm going to take that and apply that really close to the lash line. So 
So now we're going to go into the Profusion Spectrum palette and we're going to take that green shade and apply it to the inner corner. So I'm going to do a small wing. So I'm going to use this Wet n Wild. Uh, this is the Breakup Proof Waterproof Liquid Liner. Okay, so I'm going to quickly curl my lashes and apply mascara. The mascara that I'm going to be using is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. Okay, so for lashes, I am going to put these House of Lashes. This is the Allura Light, and they just look like this. I've worn these before, so I'm just going to apply those really quickly. Okay, so let's move on to the skin. Now, I only have moisturizer right now. I did use the e.l.f. Illuminating Moisturizer. So that's all that's on my face. And we're going to move on to foundation. I'm not going to use a primer today. I know. Wow. So the foundation I'm going to be using today is the foundation from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Illuminous Foundation. And I'm going to use a pump first and apply that to the face. I'm going to, of course, use my Wet n Wild sponge, my favorite sponge. So for concealer, I am going to use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is high coverage, so I feel like we need the full coverage today. We're just going to do a full glam, I guess. So there is that full coverage concealer. Now, something I'm going to do today that I don't ever, ever, ever really do is I'm going to set that and I'm going to use the Kylie um, setting powder in yellow. Okay, now I am going to cream contour. I know this is scary right now, but I am going to cream contour with the Fenty Matchstick. This one is in Mocha. I haven't used this one in a long time.
Okay, so for bronzer, I'm actually going to use again. I haven't used this one in a long time. The Collab of Physicians Formula with Wiley. So it comes with highlights, two highlights, two blushes, and then two bronzers. So I'm going to use the bronzer, I think this one right here, and then I'm going to use this blush. Okay, so now for highlight, I'm going to use an Old Depot goodie. I love this one. It's super affordable. If you guys can get your hands on it, I suggest you go get it because it is amazing, super affordable, like I said. And it is the LA Colors. This is the Strobing Powder, and this one is in Champagne, and it is just the most beautiful, wet-looking highlighter. From the drugstore, from High End, this one. Okay, so now I'm going to spray my face with a spray right now because my skin needs it. With all these powders, I have dry skin. So with all these powders, it's feeling a little dry to the extreme. So I'm going to use the Milani. This is the Fruit Fetish Make It Last in Mango Coconut. So I'm just going to spray my face just to get those powders to set into my skin and they don't look too, too powdery. Okay, so let's finish off these eyes. So I think I am going to run a little bit of the brown shade called Credit from this palette underneath the lash line. Now I'm going to run a gel liner on the waterline and I think we are done with the eyes. Okay, so for the lips, I honestly think like a vampy lip color would look even better but i just realized i don't have a vampy lipstick liquid lip or anything actually so i know what i'm going to have to purchase so i'm going to go in with the ColourPop lippy pencil in bff line my lips with this And I think I'm just gonna go the nude lip way. So I'm gonna do the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Cairo. Okay, lastly, I'm going to set my eyebrows and we are basically done, I think. So to set my eyebrows, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Brow Wow. Okay, so I do have dry skin, you guys know that. 
so I mean this one is good for people that have oily to normal skin now I just used it to set all those powders so they wouldn't be too powdery but now I'm going to finish the whole look with a more of a dewy setting spray for me of course you guys can skip this step or redo this one but um, I need something that's gonna help me give a little bit more of a glow you know in a dew so I'm gonna use the Maybelline this is the glass spray and this one for sure will make you look dewy and not feel like dry at all so if you are super dry I suggest you guys pick this one up and try it out it is really really good okay guys so this is the finished look a little bit of Beetlejuice inspired again I can't wait for the fall for the leaves pumpkins everywhere everything that says fall I am in love with I am obsessed with I am an October baby so October is literally the best month Halloween is the best holiday so I hope you guys enjoyed this look I just I'm ready for fall so does this show I am ready for fall cuz I am ready for the Halloween looks the costumes the air that smells like fall I'm, I'm up for it so I really hope you guys enjoyed this look please give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already please click the little bell so you're notified whenever I do upload I am all random here if you guys noticed so you guys won't know until you click that little bell and you get notified or of course you're following my social media because I do post when I upload a new video so follow me on my Facebook Instagram Twitter of course don't forget Twitter because I know nobody really cares I really don't care that much but you know um, and yeah I will see you guys in the next one